Yo. Uh. 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 Yeah. Uh. 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 We were told we should do a podcast. Uh. Uh. Oh, really? We were told we should do a podcast. Uh. We were told we should do a podcast okay. about things that irk us. Irk. What even is that? I R K or U R K? I R K. I R K. Yeah. I R K. But if I go, Ugh, how do you spell that? Well, that one's U R G H. E R U C H. So, e- you're right. There's an E there, isn't there? Because yeah. otherwise, it's. Ugh. We were told yeah. we should do a podcast about things that irk us. We were told this yeah. by you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told you. It's just like a whole thing just to get us to fucking. You, like, t- you right. told us. I finally have my chance. All right. Yeah, starting with Ellen. These are the things, mate. Okay. <laughs> These are the things that irk me, Ellen. <laughs> it's just my chance to just, just to bitch bro. about you two. Just bitch about Ellen. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're running a company with two. <laughs> Oh wow! Well, I went a different the, direction with one that. One of the things that irks me. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah. So uh, what's the? Should we before you launch into your one or two? Or well, all I, of them? the way I think we do it is we'll basically go take, take turns, just go around, okay. go around in circles, I guess. Yeah. And I don't know what you guys wrote, but these are like those, at least for me, those classic things that everyone probably relates yeah, to. Yeah. The 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 things in life that just make you, oh, oh I'm gonna punch someone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, at, at first I was thinking back. like pet pet peeves and just little things that, and then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna open it up to just anything in life that just annoys me. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, cool. Um, cool. should well, I should I start it? Yeah, let, let's crack into okay. it. Okay, and, and uh, there, there'll be times when like uh, you might say something and and, and it, the others don't relate to it. We can, I've got a big list, so we can just we can yeah, just I've got about ten or yeah. we can just stick on something if we've. If it, yeah, cool. Well, I have, I a, like I have a gut feeling that we'll get stuck on something for yeah, a long yeah. time. Yeah. I don't know who's okay. going to be. We'll find out. Uh, okay, starting with me. My first one is driving in a car with someone complaining about other drivers. Yeah. This is this oh. is something that... I, 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 I know what you're talking about. Doesn't it? Me? It doesn't. It? For me, I often find... I often find the people who are doing the complaining about other drivers are often the ones that are bad drivers. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I... Uh, I relate to that. It doesn't irk me at all. No, I, for, for me, I'm just like, oh, oh, yeah, especially you know, you know the expression, if you if you meet an asshole in the morning, you meet an asshole, but if you meet an asshole in the morning at lunchtime and in the mm-hmm. afternoon, yeah, then you're the asshole. I've literally I, never heard that phrase. I uh, love yeah. it. I've never <laughs> I really heard that like phrase. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And to me, I'm kind of like when someone's kind of going, oh, this person is fucking pulling out. Fucking honest, you pulling do you, out. <laughs> What irks me with with that is when they're complaining and there's not the the person they're complaining about isn't necessarily doing that bad of a job. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you kind of you have to roll with them and be like, go, yeah, it's yeah, crazy, that's crazy. Because you want to keep the, you always want to keep friend, the vibe in the when car. When it's a friend or a family <laughs> member and you're like, oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Although I find that not just with driving, just with anything, when someone's complaining about something that you don't think is a major issue, you, yeah, and you have to kind of like roll with it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah no, no, I feel no, that no. one, man. I feel it. Yeah. Um. I, I, and so you feel this mainly as a passenger. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. It's just. The, it's not like the top of my list. I haven't ranked these. It's just yeah. the first one that came to mind. Yeah, um. Yeah. I'm just kind of like. Yeah. When, when someone starts really complaining, I'm like. Yeah. No. Oh, just move on. I mean, it, it is, and it, what it's doing is dragging the vibe in the car down as well. Yeah. Like, and you're stuck in this space, this yeah, communal yeah. space with yeah. this person. Now you've you've brought the mood down a little bit. Like, yeah. any time you talk about negativity. I drag the mood down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel that. And on that note, let's talk about things that are guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to finish this yeah. podcast. <laughs> are you guys ready to listen to an hour of negativity? Us complaining about shit. Oh, here we go. I have one. Before have you one. continue, okay. I think you've got something in your teeth. Fuck uh, off. Again, two episodes in a row. Um, uh, What's that? Where? Is it, is it or is it? Is it's just, just gum. Keep this in. Don't edit this out early. Sorry. Yeah, oh, that's gone. That's it's gone. Yeah, it was gone. a thing yeah. in my teeth. Great oh. content. Great content. For, this is going to be for an ongoing. video. It's an ongoing watch, thing. I, I mean, this is as long as I've known Alan. This is just like. <laughs> this I, is I, I, like that means I've because I haven't consumed anything since I was at home, and I cycled. This I biked joy of in. Our I, I biked in. It took it like forty minutes, and I had breakfast like half an hour before. Was, I've had something in my teeth for well over an hour. I've been on teeth patrol for Alan for years. For years, I've been doing. I appreciate you, doing it. you a solid. I do. Like, I do. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. Do you know something that irks me is when people don't tell you you've got something in your teeth, yeah. and then realize I've been. I last ate four genuinely. hours ago. Yeah, no, I genuinely. Been in my teeth. Yeah, yeah. That how? Okay. Well, while we're on the topic, like there is a there is a point. There's a depending on how well you know someone, there is also a point where you 
where you've kind of when it's gone too long and yeah. you're like, oh, I can't say anything Especially now. Especially when there's like bats in the cave or something <laughs> and you're just having this conversation. <laughs> bats in the cave? Yeah, bats in the cave. Have you not heard that before? <laughs> I love that quote. <laughs> like, does that mean like, like never heard that boogers before. in the nose? Oh, it, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've literally never heard you that before. You never heard that before? Where, where did I hear that? I, th- I, think that's, I think it's a common expression. I don't know. A little bit could be my little bubble. It's, yeah, no, I've never heard it before, but I love it. Um, yeah, and if you, there's a there's a line at if you know the person well enough, you can tell yeah, them. And mate, you got to you got a thing. You got to th- you got you got a little thing. But if you don't know them well enough, you have to you, you just let them let them be and go. Yeah. I hope somebody else yeah. along yeah. the course of your day. But then you feel like a little bit of an asshole. I, I don't know. I I because I get where you're coming from, but I just go. Hey, I, I, I've been I'm meaning so sorry. To, I've been meaning to tell you. I haven't found the right time. You've got to fucking. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, and I'm sure that person would appreciate it, but when it comes from somebody they don't necessarily know too well, I guess there's an added layer of yeah. embarrassment or something. But as well, if that person then goes away and talks to somebody they, they do know after talking to you, and they tell the person, they're like, "Oh my god, I literally just spoke yeah. with this other I, guy for like." I don't know. If, I don't know if I tell a stranger about uh, teeth specifically because it means you've been staring at a very intimate yeah. part of their face. But I tell strangers about like, oh, your bag's got a fucking thing hanging out yeah. of it, or you've hey, got, you stepped yeah. in shit. You stepped in shit, or <laughs> genuinely that yeah, kind bummer, of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, speaking of shit, I have something that's um, laid on us. Laid on us. It's um, I I what irks me yeah. is bathroom stalls that have just. The thinnest veil of privacy. Oh. Like, the, you know, there's like, there's the door, there's the massive gap below the door. Either side of the door frame, there's like, you know, t- two or three centimeters, centimeters of okay. like. Apparently, this is like quite, uh, we're quite used to a bit more privacy in New Zealand and there are in other, other cultures and countries. But yeah. in America, uh, this is my understanding, it's quite common to have quite thin sto- it, stalls and is stuff. Is the idea to deter people from apparently so going to the bathroom in these public spaces? Is well, that no, it's why to make they, it quicker. Make it quicker to yeah, get yeah. in and get out. You, yeah. you're, you're, people can see you doing, doing your business. Yeah. Wow, that's so mean. I noticed that when I went to Australia a few years, it was an Australian thing I noticed a little bit more as well. Is just I went to a McDonald's and mm. the, the top of the cubicle was up to my like shoulders. Yeah. And no, the, bottom, the bottom like, like was like a foot off the like more than a foot if, like if you feel like it, uh, uh, anyone could just see you. anyone could just see you do doing your thing someone yeah. just lean over the cubicle and, be like, yeah, hey, right, and have a conversation and like it's it's so if somebody had the the faintest like ambition to watch you they could yeah. if someone just stands slightly out of position in this bathroom they they might accidentally spot you yeah and then it's just the it's just something about, i don't know what it is like you you need your privacy you like that's what I Do, love. What we've got here at the studio is like each toilet is its own room. Is its own room. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. De- devil's advocate. Advocate. Ad- advocate. Ad- devil's advocate. Very good. How how quick were you? How quick was Your when I, I I didn't I don't I avoid those ones. Okay. I avoid them. Well, I mean, very but quick if I go back, it? it's a very quick. But yeah, most accomplished by the designers <laughs> of those toilets. Yeah. And probably hurt myself in the process of just holding on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, you're uh, back in the day when the windows existed and I had to go, I, I would probably be very fast. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got a long list that I, I don't know if I should go in order cause they're not necessarily in order, but I'm going to go for the first one. Uh, the first one is something that really like I, I majorly struggle with. In fact, I think it's like an actual, uh, not disease, a disorder, which is uh, loud eating. I, I, I oh. cannot deal. Do you guys remember about three or four months ago? You guys were eating some chocolate or something. I can't remember. It was a lot. Yeah, was, yeah, I do remember. That. It was yeah. like a very caramelly chocolate. I can't actually even remember the situation we were in. But I just we were just hanging out. On well, the I think we were. We were just I hanging was, out. I think your place. I, I think, think it might have been at my place. Yeah. yeah. And I just stood up and walked away. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I remember this. Yeah. yeah. And and then I was just on the other side of the room for a bit, continuing the conversation. Yeah. You guys were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah. I was like, "It's a me problem." Yeah. Like, I think you you forewarned us before you left. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. were you were like, "I'm not just leaving and deciding to have the conversation from over here." Yeah. 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 I, yeah. It, it's just something that. Oh my god! It's just like right on the back of my neck, inside me. I just can't deal with loud eating or yeah. le- eating that's mastication. 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 Yeah. Mastication. Wait, what is it actually? Mastication is that it means like what to, to eat, to, to chew, to kind yeah, of yeah. masticate. Right. Um, <laughs> that's mastication. I'm masticating all the time. <laughs> I masticated, I masticated last night. an hour before I came. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. 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 Um, but before I j- just came today. <laughs> <laughs> but just like loud eating bike. in general as well, I just I just like what some like chewing on chips or just general chew. I just I it just I, fucking man gets that me. must be a fresh that must be annoying because people are eating all the time uh-huh. around you, but like, not necessarily loudly, right? I know but there it, are some foods that just have to be eaten loudly, you know, like 
chips. Or, or, yeah, right? or do yeah. they? Or do they? Yeah, do they? Yeah. <laughs> or, thank you, Ron. Thank you, thank you, Ron. Because <laughs> I, I, I can actually 100 Yeah, devil, devil's advocate. Or do, do they? they? <laughs> Or do they? Actually, Ellen. But wait, Ellen, wait, I, I actually have a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. are the problem. I have, a, I have a story about you. You see your note. <laughs> Ellen, needs, <laughs> Ellen needs food to allow. Oi. Um, you should genuinely, your that, name is in here. That, there is one. <laughs> wait, and I'm going to tell the story now. Okay. <laughs> one time we were at boys' night and yeah. you had a bag of chips. Oh, yeah. And it was like fucking, it was this close to the map. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, when you're playing video games <laughs> online with someone else, the eating's not in their house. The eating is now in your ear yeah. because you have your soul. In your yeah, your soul. soul. I, I think and I, I think it's like, like nice. God, <laughs> fear and yeah, my bad. I don't eat chips that. I don't eat chips no, anymore. Don't. I imagine though. I would have called them out. I think we both. I think we both did. I think we both did. I think we've all called other people out yeah. in this though. I, I do remember calling it out to. I can't remember who. Some of the chip eater yeah. in the in the boys' night. Yeah. Well, you're, you're right because the chips are like halfway between your mouth and the microphone yeah. as well, like, and that means they're directly in other people's ears. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. also the pack, the pack, the packet, and the, the crunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, God. Um, and how long? Uh, how long did that go on for? Do you remember? How long did you put up with me eating chips? A fair yeah. while before one of us intervened. <laughs> I remember. Um, I feel like because I can go through a whole bag. Of oh, I, I think yeah, we both yeah, can. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know this mastication thing used to be a, a real pet peeve of mine as well. Yeah. And I, I used to be as a kid, I'd be I'd be going, oh, shut the fuck. Up. Yeah. Thinking, when someone was eating, but it's yeah. not been a, much of a problem for me. In adult years, mm. I've calmed down a bit. I think it's going the opposite way for me. I don't think a kid is not <laughs> getting worse. Getting worse yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like maybe because I'm typically the problem, I don't have an issue with it. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody I think of in my life, I'm like, oh, that person eats loud. Yeah. So that is when I'm the problem. Yeah, yeah. straight up. Mm. Right, my next oh, pit Your next one. Is people who don't pick up their dog's shit. Yeah. Oh, bro. I, it's because, yeah. I mean, I've got dogs that are walking all the time and it's just... But at the same time, when I run out of poo bags and I have to leave the dog yeah. shit, like very rarely I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, I've left. Oh no, I'm one of those people now. But at least but you're you self-identifying. Like, self identifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can you like and and because that does happen to me sometimes. So so if that happens to me and and the dog shit is in the middle of the footpath, I'll find a stick or something and just flick it off the side of the of the footpath. I would never be in the middle of the footpath for Valen. Oh really? With Lola, Lola, Lola's Lola's like, Lola's I mean, anywhere. <laughs> No, I actually r- rarely, yeah, very right. rarely. I mean, from time to time, she. I think she, from time to time, she, she's holy shit, I'm shitting. Uh. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's not no, like, shit, I'm oh, shitting. Oh, shit, shit. <laughs> we, we look after a dog that literally, that's his style of shitting. Uh. It's just like, he's uh. just for like, oh, shit. <laughs> and it's always the worst time. It's always when so- someone's walking the other way towards you. That, and they're about to get to you. Uh. And there's, you, you, then your dog that you're looking after just suddenly starts uh. shitting you. Oh, God. And you hope you've got a poop bag then. Oh, yeah. Um, what, I don't have dogs, so I don't understand this. Surely when you go out for a walk, you take at least two or three poop bags. With well, you, you right? assume they're there because they're okay. attached. To, I don't know about you, but they're just attached to the lead. And then yeah, they're, they're oh, in this little okay. plastic case. Oh, okay. And if the, you know, the plastic case is there, um, you just kind of, it's one of the subconscious, you assume there are yeah. shit bags and then you poop and you, bags. You get half around that and you oh, God, oh, I God. thought, oh, no. Yeah. Or if, if Balin's feeling like doing a double or a triple shit that day, oh, that walk. He does a triple And, and I'm like, sweet, uh, one bag. Oh, that's my, I'm only got one bag. Ooh, do you use multiple? I mean, I get, actually, because with Lola, um, she'll do a poop. You just, you scoop it up and you kind of do a loose tie on it and put it in through the thing and then let she'll do another poop and there's still plenty of room in the bag. What's a Balin poop like, Ron? <laughs> Probably well, a but, fucking pound of sausages. Well, yeah, hang on. This is interesting. So, how do you uh, you've you picked up one poop? Yeah, and you're gonna try and use that same bag. To put, uh, uh, yeah. I so what I do is because yeah. there's a little plastic like handle um, that attaches the poop bag holder. Then I put the plastic bag through it and do a little real loose tie. And then that way, when you um, when Lola does poop number two, I can just pull the bag off and the loose tie just unravels itself, and I can just go. And pick uh, up number two. Better uh, living, everyone. Better living. Can't I can't quite visualize this, but I'll have to get a. Um, a, a Let's get a, a poop bag, yeah, and I'll give you a demonstration. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yeah. shit on I'll, the ground. I'll shit on the ground, and then we'll uh, I'll demonstrate how to, and we'll split it up into multiple. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is I've not got it on my list, but this is something that irks me oh, yeah. as well. Just for, oh my god! But the, it, it, this is the thing. Every time I see a shit, I'm like, you, you mother yeah. trucker person, who you inconsiderate. <laughs> uh, but then, then at the rare times. Oh wait, this one Balin did yesterday. Damn. Yeah, the, when at the rare times yeah. that I'm also that person, I'm like, oh, because I ran out of poop bags. I'm, I'm like, I have to kind of go. I wonder if every most times that I see someone else's dog shit, they were in the same predicament that I was in. But, uh, I, just, I I think not a lot of like some. I see yeah. p- 
people sometimes do it. When you you know that thing where they, the person thinks they're alone and they just watch the yeah. dog shit. And that that you can you can tell if somebody's realised they don't have a poop bag. So there's that that look and they're like you know. Yeah. But there's some people that just watch their dog and then just stroll off. The, and the, they and you, are yeah yeah that, that's what irks. Me. This yeah. Is, yeah. The few times that it's happened where like I'm like oh, I'm running out of poo bags. Yeah, I kind of like you I scan, pretend, don't you? You do I, the guilty scan, scan, and then I and then in case there is someone watching with a telescope or something, <laughs> I do I mime. <laughs> yeah, I kind of go oh, pretend to get the bag out, just pretend to pick it, pick it up in case I'm going to be you, I'm going to go to jail. You mime with just your hand. There's nothing there. I just I just kind of I mime, just kind of like just yeah. doing stuff around it. You, you, look, you look like an insane person. I do. That's exactly <laughs> like the my. I've never done this, but um, if you crash into someone's car and then you just mime writing out a little note and sticking it to their windscreen. <laughs> yeah, no, I've oh, seen like yeah. If you're like in oh, a car yeah. park and you, you just, nudge like, them. Uh, you, you really lazily put your phone number down. Yeah. Oh, I got it wrong. But all you're really oh, writing Because you saw zero. someone was watching the you. The blew away the note. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, yeah. damn it. I came back to my car once and um, had a note on it. I can't remember the exact wording, but the effective nature of it was, sorry, I crashed into you and someone was watching me. Mm. So I'm writing this note. So I'm writing this note. Oh. Um, good, good luck. Yeah, good luck. yeah basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucked. And yeah, there's no, obviously fucked. no number or anything. I was yeah. like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Damn it. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, that, um, that, that irks me. Yeah. Alan. Um, it's my turn. Over to you, Smellon. So when, uh, when someone's walking in front of you at the exact same speed as on the footpath, oh, yeah. um, so this happened the when exact I... exact same speed. Yeah, like it's, it's a kind of like really similar speed and there's not too many other people out on the footpath and you're kind of just walking along and then somebody... Come and cuts and walks in front of you, and now suddenly you're you, you've become a stalker. <laughs> this person has indirectly yeah. made you a stalker, and you have to make a decision about overtaking this person, mm-hmm. where in an unnatural kind of run jog walk yeah. thing, <laughs> or uh, or bring out your phone and pretend you're busy for like yeah. a minute, or, and let that person get way ahead. Hmm. Um, it's not the person's fault who's work, walking <laughs> oh, in front no, it of is. me. It is, but sometimes it uh, feels like they could have, you know. They could have waited. So sometimes yeah. it's just like that. That I, I, I don't know. That that irks me. No, I don't think anyone can fix this problem. It, it might be a me problem, but I'm just when I follow these people, people, I'm like, ah, I got. I can't do this. I can't do yeah, this. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Because there's that moment where you're just like, and and then if you choose to be the overtaker, like you were just saying, you have to Very be aggressive. That awkward little. You've got to pretend. There's a moment, isn't there? You've got to pretend that. Uh, just oh, was this, was that, yeah. Quick job. Because yeah. I've got a thing that I've got I don't know. I've got a thing. I've got a thing. And you've done your little jog, and yeah. now you've got enough in yeah. front of them that you can get back and to you. Get back and now to you're to your pace. And now you're at your pace at, in front of them. And yeah. You're basically just swapped Yeah, roles. but like yeah, you'd have to get far enough in front so that they, yeah. they, they, they don't become the stalker. There's, yeah. a, there's an art to it. This is even worse with bailing on when you're walking a dog. Oh, my God. And, and then I'm like, sweet, I'm, I've got, got the lead. They're behind, swear, and then Balin decides to stop. Yeah, and, and have a big old sniff, and yeah. I'm like, they're gaining on us, Balin. Yeah, they're gaining on us. Lola's <laughs> Hurry up! Damn it! They're, they're, and then Balin's like, well, I'm ready to go now. Like, or oh, now they're right with us. Now they're so right with us. We're walking together. Oh my god! This. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I this. I feel that in my unlocked soul. Unlocked the memory. Yeah, yeah, unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Lola walking. Is it's fifty percent walk, fifty percent stand, and wait for her to sniff. Yeah. Like maybe if I actually that ratio is probably way off. Seventy percent sniffing, thirty uh. percent walk. We don't go for that long walks. So it's just her sniffing. Yeah. And it's like I I haven't set the precedent. You know, it's actually yeah. like, since she was a puppy, I was just like I, I was always just like oh let her do her thing because this is like her. You know, she gets one walk a day. Yeah. You just do whatever you want, and now she's just like I I sniff. I'm gonna yeah. take my I'm gonna take time. my time, and you're gonna you're gonna well just I think watch I, me do this. Pro- you probably made the right choice to give her. That's what dogs need is the is the mental health of sniffing. Mm. It's really good for them. And so just letting her do her sniff. That's and basically that's part of the reason for yeah. the walk, right? Yeah, yeah. You're doing the right thing. Okay, thank you, man. Good on yeah. you. Thanks, mate. Thank you, bro. What are you, Adam? I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like keep on the theme of walking, and I thought this is where you were going with your walking thing, but for me, it's slow walkers. Either mm. slow walkers or people uh, who um, are very unaware of their surroundings. Ah, uh, yes. And this is always, it's malls, yep. theme parks, uh. busy places, where there'll be someone walking in front of you in a mall, and they'll just... No, look around to stop walking. Yeah, or, or like take a hard left, or I take a hard, and or just walking really slow. Have absolutely no fucking care in the world. I I one hundred percent feel that. And it, for me, I just fucking punch him in the back of the head or something. Yeah. I just like that's or that, because that you know that awareness. that that mindset is is not like isolated to this one. No. To me, it defines that person. Yeah, what they're doing. It's like oh, you don't care about. Anyone, correct? I guess so. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that, I, that, I that's the vibe you get, right? Yeah, I just the vibe. I extrapolate that and, and go, this is def- kind of because def- you don't just become this like suddenly in a busy shopping center. 
that's when you decide to not be aware of your yeah. surroundings. This is this is a like, big. I, I, yeah. I, I'm, I feel. I'm one of those people in shopping malls. Let's just say shopping malls is the easiest yeah. example. Is that I will not only manage my personal space, but I will start managing other people's person, strangers' per- personal space. Yeah. Being like, okay, well, they are going at about three meters per second, and yeah. it looks like they're going to divert yeah. over to there, so I might go stand over. Yeah. there. I think that's so part of the reason I'm so way. exhausted. At the end, I can only I can only really do shopping malls for about an hour, mm-hmm. and then I'm and I think part of it. I mean, that, yeah. I'm a hard introvert, but also. I'm not socializing. I think it's the it's partly to do with that the artificial lights mm. and all the noises everywhere. But then it is just the navigating through the the crowds oh, and yeah. trying not to. And then I feel really bad if like it just happens you're in a big group of people talking and you're like oh we're ten of us are talking in a doorway yeah and then I'll be the first one to be like hey guys let's all fucking have our conversation over here because yeah. we're being those people who are having yeah conversation yes in the doorway oh absolutely or, yeah 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 yeah. yeah. You're, that's that makes you a good person. Thank you very you're much. You're a good person. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Th- that's basically what I wanted to get out of today's that's, podcast yeah. was yeah. validation that I'm uh, a good you're person. a good person. And you guys are good people for picking up your dog poop. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 I'm doing, doing. I do my part. Yeah. Right. No, Ron, what irks you, dog? I hate it when my pee splits in half. And yeah. it doesn't happen very often, but it. But interesting. Is that a thing that you've ever experienced? Uh, yeah, yeah, I experienced it. Like, and and you're is like. A, you, is you, a, is it exclusively after six it's, it's times? It's going to normally be out. It's going to be after you had six times the night yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes better than four of that. Yeah, yeah. So, and it always catches me off guard. Um, <laughs> and then it's like, <laughs> yeah, which stream yeah. is... Which, it's like, there's which a stream is the master stream? Which stream is thicker? <laughs> and yeah. which one should aim And you're like, oh, God. And you try to push it. So, like, push it harder so that it... That's not so good for your... I don't not do good that. for your bladder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bladder and, 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 and you just end up, like, literally just pissing everywhere. And you're just like, I'm an adult. I shouldn't be pissing... And then you spend the next My life. classic thing is panic and aim and both and aim for the middle, but that means both streams yeah. for either side of the toilet. <laughs> and like, I ah! I have in the past when that's happened just knelt at the toilet. Yes, I do because, that. Yeah, because I just go down and oh, <laughs> just, just kneel down. Because the, then then the, in, the initial point of spray is closer to the bottom. That's yeah. a good solution. This yeah. is this is where we differ. Where I just panic and I piss everywhere. I piss everywhere. Piss on the yeah. walls. Piss on the roof. <laughs> I I've actually. Most of the time these days, regardless of knowledge of whether or not I'm going to split the stream, is I just sit down to pee these days. Really? For basically really? almost every time. Wow. Unless I'm in a, in a bit of a rush and I just quickly run in. I pee. I do yeah. I, I do that from like in the morning if I'm like oh like I'm I just kind of go make my way to the toilet and I yeah. just I can't be bothered since so I just sit and yeah. But I always have to. This is going from Rowan's anatomy. I always feel like I, I have to. To properly empty, I have to kind of stand at the and finish, to finish off the. I yeah. don't. I don't the, feel that. Yeah. I kind of. I kind of do. Yeah. I, like, I. 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 Yeah. I feel like I. I to get it all out, I need to stand. This, do, and, and penis talk. And penis that's talk. penis talk. With and, Viva. and I hope that's what you guys wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah. Can uh, we get? Uh, can we get a little sting for penis about. talk with Viva? Oh. Um, can we just go like a like a real quick are. sting? Penis talk with Viva. Penis talk with Viva. Penis, penis talk with Viva. <laughs> 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 What irks me on the theme of of uh, transit? It's two things actually. The first half is people who don't use their turn signals in their car. Mm. And so oh, there's, there feels oh, like a really I've got, basic I've got a one. couple of transit ones in here. Yeah, that feels like a pretty basic one. It's just like, oh, you dickhead, and it kind of like ties into like that. That extra, you can extrapolate that and and say you're you're a horrible person in real life. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you're right. Correct. I, know. I, I literally, Correct. I literally put you like immediately. I put you in a box. You're like, oh, you're a horrible person. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. But correct. Yeah, like, they, correct. They, they could be lovely and just forget to use it. But I'm just like, you're yeah. the. Oh God, you're the worst. Yeah. But the other one is, and this is often not their fault. Uh, it's when people forget. In fact, it's it's probably always not their fault. People who forget to turn their turn signals off oh, on the road yeah. Yeah. and they're driving down the motorways, so pull, pulling. That. Yeah, 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 and yeah. You, you can't really. I, I, but I, then I, you don't put them in a box as a horrible person. You put them in a box as a fucking idiot. Yeah, but no, like, like I just feel like sorry for them because I, I I haven't done it I to my knowledge that. at least. I haven't done. It. It's one of those things that you you could have done it for an extended period of time, just not knowing it. If you're mm. listening to music and you're indicating, yeah. and then you get to a like intersection, then you sort it out. Who you could have been driving for like 10, yeah, 20 yeah. minutes of flicking yeah. it off. And, but there's no way to tell these people that it's going on. Like, there's a couple of times I tried. I was like, I got behind them and I was like flashing my lights and then like I'd undercatch left into the right and be like, oh, now I'm a dickhead. For now, you're, now you're having a fucking party in yeah, your yeah, car. Yeah, now I'm Ooh. partying in my car and everyone else behind me is like, what's, what's this person going to do? And I, I'm strobing my lights and this person is obviously just not, they're, they're probably just like, what the fuck's that person yeah. doing rather than going, he's trying to send me a message. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way to communicate with yeah. these guys. 
that's just like I don't know. It, it, it irks me because you always think they're about to turn. You wait for them for a little bit, and they're like, oh, they're not. Oh, they're, oh, they're doing their thing. There is a thing that a person I knew said they used to do on their motorbike, and I don't know if it would work. I've never really tried it, but you can if, if you happen to pass them, as you can then just turn your indicator on, and until. Uh, and just stay in front of them, and, and they'll notice that your indicator's on. And then, and I've tried that as well, and, and it then, doesn't uh, always work. Uh, yeah, like yeah. Then, then they go, oh, this idiot was <laughs> this, Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm an, uh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, thanks, mate. thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. No, it doesn't work. And if anything, it comes off as super passive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. if you slow down yeah. really hard. It's, it's, it's the exact same thing as if you notice someone's driving without their lights on at night. Yeah. And you like oh, flash yeah. your lights at them and then you've just got a person going, What the fuck? Yeah. Why are you flashing your lights at me? Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying hello. Um yeah, yeah okay, that's what irks me. Adam, what irks you, bro? Um This is uh something again that I know is about me, but I'm I'm Batman. Um, big. That irks me about you. Right. I, I've <laughs> always hated that you yeah. are in fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I I feel like I become a little bit of a vigilante, hence the Batman, when I see people doing flagrant, flagrant rule law social norm violations. Oh. And tra- traffic is one of them. Mm-hmm. Like um, this morning at the main intersection just down the road here, there was uh the the in the lane next to me we'd all be com- we'd all been coming up to the lights and there was uh traffic on the other side so even though it was green couldn't go through because it was backed up halfway through the intersection mm. and uh the lane next to me was backed up more than my lane like i probably could have gone through but i chose not to and then the lights went orange coming on red mm-hmm. and the guy next to me drove th- as it was going red drove through and now he's sitting more than halfway through the intersection oh, and all of the other cars looking. couldn't go yeah, and are now days. beeping at him and he's just sitting there in the car just like absolutely just not a fucking do you know what he's world. he's he's doing internally is stressing the f out no i could tell he chose really he just he chose. genuinely yeah, yeah he chose God, to go i've through. seen that happen before and you just see the sheer panic. So you see that you see that from time to time, and you're like, oh, I I kind of feel sorry. I feel, for you. feel sorry yeah, for that person. Yeah, yeah. A lot you, of the time, they have made, made a, a stupid you made decision. A bad decision. You kind of they go, regret you, it. Oh, you yeah. have to reap what you sow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. But this guy made the decision. Yeah. And I got again out of my just car, extrapolate my Batman outfit and kill kill him. Batman doesn't kill him. Tell me, where are the other drugs going? Who are you working for? No, just me. All of the. I mean, it it is often in traffic when I see. Or, or when you are going down the road and someone will like undercut you at like a hundred kilometers an hour, or yeah. or or even even if it's not happening to me, if I just see it happening, yeah, um, I I just I not that I do anything, I don't get out of my car or do mm. anything, but it really irks me when I'm seeing yeah, yeah. Those, and it's not even it's often not even laws that someone's breaking it's just like even just like returning the trolley to the oh, trolley yeah, yeah. cart thing and, yeah and little 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 bits of laziness it's yeah little the, bits of laziness that add up so, so it's like social norms it's like i know you don't have to return the trolley to the trolley cart but just, but just be a decent human it's just there being. just do it that, that one's like one of the ones that irks me it happens here sometimes actually is like um is the paper towels like mm. in, the, in the toilets and then like little rip bits and the, 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 like on like, the floor the bits of paper towel yeah all over the we well, need yeah. to talk about those paper towel, towel dispensers, though. <laughs> they're a bit, they're they're a bit, they're we need to have a big wet, meeting about your that. Hand, your wet hands, because yeah. that's why you're grabbing the paper towel, and you grab the first one, and because your hands are wet, yeah. they soak through the towel. And yeah. And just like to rip. I don't know, what the, what's the problem, the towel or the dispenser? Sorry for stopping the great chats, but I need to know, did I show you this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a freaking great zip up hoodie we have now. It's got the did I show you this on the on the sleeve here and then the Viva logo over here and it's all embroidered and stuff. It feels so nice and it's a zip up hoodie. I can escape myself if need be. Oh this freaking jump is here. I'm going to get off. Anyway, you get it from VLDL.shopron. Thank you very much. Uh, the link's going to be in the description. Now back to the podcast. Um, okay. What okay. Bugs you, what irks you, Ron? Wait, is it your turn? Okay, yes, my, yeah, it's yeah, turn. Yeah, okay. okay, well, go, go hurry up. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking hurry up, Ron. If, yeah, you, if you guys would stop saying hurry up, then I could have my turn. <laughs> have you finished, have you stopped saying hurry up? Yeah, just go. Okay, just okay go. here we go. Come on, hurry up, Ron. One of those poos. <laughs> I love how much this all of like yeah. oh, is, is <laughs> one, this, one, one that just like kind when of I say, when I say one of those poops, yeah I know exactly, you know exactly even Ellie's not I know exactly what you're talking about yeah the, and you you're like especially when you're like sweet kind of whatever you're out especially you're if you're in a rush out you're in a rush you're in your whatever and then it's like 
It's like wiping a vivid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, wiping yeah. Oh, a vivid. Or wipe, number, wipe <laughs> number one and you're just like, where? Fucking, it's everywhere what? down there. What the fuck? Is just cut the poop off. Yeah. The first half is gone, but you're now you're just wiping away the second half that's slowly dispensing itself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it doesn't matter. How, and you're just like, oh. And you know it. Because, you know, you know a, good, a good one, you're like, oh, there's hardly anything on there. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, yes. Yeah. But when it's one of those bad ones, you kind of go, so wait, why? Oh, oh, no. no. So, 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 so you. You, you, you literally just Martha clear my schedule <laughs> you just mind there something that not everyone does which is check the paper before into the toilet surely everyone gives it no apparently check. I mean I do I do I, yeah, well, I, I need do. to yeah. room, apparently a lot of people don't oh. Really? Like, why would you look at your shit before putting the paper in the toilet I'm like That's you need to know what's going on down there that people don't well ma- maybe for the first couple of like maybe two or three wipes I'm I might not because I'm like I just need to they're gonna happen regardless yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then when I'm kind of going maybe we're getting close to the end yeah. I'll, I'll start checking it but like, no, a couple more yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But no, this is a you reckon actually you've, you've highlighted something I figured out uh, a few years ago which is you, you assume everyone's got the same oh, toilet yeah. like Let's, routine as you your bathroom routine but some people are just wildly, wildly different. different you know there are people that go for a poop and then they stand up to, to wipe and they're like walking yeah. around wiping like and yeah. they, don't, they don't stay <laughs> sitting. Walk well, this is this is what <laughs> I they, they, So I I'm a stander to like, but not like you don't just fucking like stand and wipe your butt. No, like, it's it's like a little crouch, just like that. No, no, no. Huh. Stand up. Surely they don't. I'm stand telling up. you, that some people tell told me they that's exactly what they did. They, but they, then your butt cheeks go together. But you, you have to grab your butt cheek and pull it off to the side. <laughs> they explain to me in detail how they did it. There's like, they, they don't like lock knees stand. Like they're not like here, yeah, right? They are standing up. They 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 are one hundred percent upright, like okay, and and walking around doing like <laughs> but, and wiping their butt. This is one of those things, like, and it's weird, like this is the fact you can't even comprehend this, uh, but they 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 do it, and they they couldn't comprehend. It. I'm like, I stay no, I stay sitting. They're like, but what? That's do, do your butt cheeks leave the seat at all? Do my uh when you wipe? No. I don't my, think, my, I don't my, mine do. do. I do a tiny little squat. Yeah, and then back down. This is I. This is. I apologize to everybody who didn't want to uh, just to hear Viva Ladilly talk about uh, their poop this routine. We were talking about this, penises. This is really, yeah. that you, since the since you stopped being toilet trained by your parents, it was it became a very private activity for the rest of your life. And this exactly. Is why going to the toilet is one of those things where well, let's talk about it now for a bit. I, I love this. Sure. Um, where there'll be so many people that have so many different ways of doing oh, some correct. very basic because yeah. everyone had to figure out something On that worked for them. Like yeah, for yeah. example. What the the actual wiping yeah. um, part? How like on average are you a are you a scruncher? Do you, how much? How uh, much? I am you a grab, folder. Like, I am a folder. very yeah. very intricate. And folder. and how how many pieces on on average per uh, wipe? I, if it if it's a if it's a if it's a good <laughs> toilet paper, if yeah. we're talking about like a two or a three, two, three ply, ply, yeah, I will I'll just use three squares, yeah. and then I'll just go fold one square onto the other square. So now you've got yeah. nine. If it's a th- you've got nine layers there. Yeah, that's yeah, more, yeah, than, that's more than that. I'm the same. I'm a two or three. I'm the same. Yeah, this yeah, is why we have so. a YouTube channel together. We, <laughs> we, 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 let's, can we, we get, can we get, can can we get a, another little stinger real quick? Oh. Poo chat. What about people. you, Eleni? Poo chat. Are you a two or three square, or are you like a, a bit more per white? I, I, I'm, I'm about two or three. Yeah, okay. Okay. about the same. Again, depending on the thickness, like you were yeah. saying. Oh yeah. If yeah. it's if it's single ply, then I'll then I'll oh, man. get a lot more and do oh, a big yeah, old yeah. like yeah. fucking origami. Yeah, and, and yeah. I'm, I'm like kind of so. Sometimes I'm just a two. I'm like just get one two. I fold it and then I give it a half fold just to get a little bit. Of, a I little wouldn't bit do of that extra. for wipe number one. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. What about you, Ellie? <laughs> Hi, over there. Um, I am the similar to you guys. Folder, probably three to four squares. Oh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I always look when I wipe oh, just okay, to make okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seeing yeah. yeah. we're all in safe company, <laughs> let's rag on people who scrunch. What oh, what a waste what are you guys of up paper? to? What is going on? What is going oh, on? Oh my god! Like, like the people who just kind of go. One, two, three, but like they've got like and the they just into a ball 20, and shove it up their butt or something, and know. then just kind of scrunch yeah. and just go. That's half the fucking roll. Yeah, I'm gonna shove it like, up my. Yeah, don't be a if you're a if you're a fucking scruncher, scruncher. we're coming we'll for find, you. We'll find you. We'll find you, <laughs> guys. We'll find um, you. I have something to do next me. What, what I'm gonna pivot away from um from, from chat. toilet chats and go to video uh, game uh, chats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Noobs in video games. <laughs> how 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 dare you be in my lobby? Come into a video game, not having. But ma- not having mastered it, like yeah, you, you news, buy a new bro. game. How dare you buy this new game and not be an expert at it exactly, immediately? Exactly. How dare you? And don't you dare fucking get on my lobby. And don't you and get in my lobby and in my team 
and yeah. learn how right. to play the fucking team, game. If, if you're in, if you're new to the game, you've just bought the game, you've loaded up, and you're in my team, I I am coming for you. Best thing you can do, bro, is yeah. start berating them. hard. That's what in, I do, in, bro. In chat. That's what I do because they got to learn. In, in <laughs> chat, in they, chat, they, they, we need to put we need to put them in their place. Yeah. Noobs, yeah, bruh. noobs, bruh. Yeah. Like, like, just, yeah, and I've watched you go. What? Get off, Anna, man. We, we need a mercy. Yeah, noob. Shit. Idiot, you noob. You noob. Yeah, just, or, just noobs, man. How? Like, just the, 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 audac- yeah. the audacity to buy a game and not be good at it straight away. How How dare you? What was Ben? Fucking noobs. <laughs> ben, ben got a real <laughs> clanger the other day. Like, someone told him to go kill himself in Overwatch. Or oh, something. man. What that's. I mean, that's every over, twice in Overwatch that's, game. Yeah. That's like, Overwatch is rough. Yeah. Overwatch is a, is a toxic environment. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, that, uh, genuinely, that's part of the reason I don't play Overwatch because I'm, I'm not good because I don't play Overwatch very yeah. frequently. And then whenever I go into it, I'm just like, oh, I'm trying to have fun and learn. Yeah. Uh, it's my main deterrent. It was my main deterrent from getting into Dota 2 back in the day. Oh, yeah. I genuinely tried to get into Dota 2, and it was just the community was just too toxic, and I was like, ah, oh, no, I can't. I just, mm. I can't. Like, there, there is genuinely, you know, this other, it's just, you have to embrace that this is part of, unfortunately, part of the video game community, is, is just being taking shit if you're not great at a game. Yeah. But there is still a layer, even I'm 36 now, when some, some kid goes, fuck you, fuck you, you suck. I, there's a big part of me that still goes, <sighs> I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Because I, I, I just I'm like, <laughs> you think you get into me, but I'm way more mature than yeah. <laughs> but, but, but then I feel myself kind of thinking about it and going, oh, you dwell on it. Shit. You dwell on it. And sometimes what I buy know? and I just, I, I'm yes. in there and I'm like, I'm a dad now. I got two kids. I'm like, I'm, I'm going at this guy. We could be two adults. Mm. We could be two 36 year olds. Oh, he could be older. Very than good me. chance. There's yeah. a very good chance. It's, yeah, yeah, genuinely. I th- that's something that got me with Hearthstone. Some days yeah. is like that. That would. Yeah. Th- I generally don't oh, rage at can, games yeah. like you, but Hearthstone makes me rage, man. Mm-hmm. But then the. Oh man, there's a special place in my heart for mm. when someone you finish it, you win a match, quite outright in yeah. Hearthstone. Yeah. And and then you see a little friend request pop yeah. up, yeah. <laughs> and they they want to come in and say horrible things to yeah. you, and I'm like, except friend request. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> except friend request. And then it comes. You say it. What do you want to say to me? <laughs> and you let him. Like, you cheating that fucking last little card you put down. I'm like, no, nah, but do you just reply <laughs> like, hey okay, friend, <laughs> hey friend? What is that? Like, I feel like what's the Darth Sidia, but it's Sidia kind of like like. Yes. <laughs> Let's Let's that's hatred. amazing. The hatred. I guess it's better, but it's good love because it. you know always accept friend requests because I know the only reason if you've won a match and someone yeah. oh, they yeah. want to fucking say horrible yeah. things to you. I'm like, yeah, baby, that's that's when know. I my favorite thing is when when you're you're losing and then people berate you and and then you win. <laughs> And you can berate them back. Yeah, that's yeah, like, I, so that's like, I hold yeah. a special place in my heart for I that. Where was... I'm like, and I literally just almost copy paste what they said to uh, me. Yeah. Uh, Adam, what berate? Oh, Adam, what irks you, dog? Yeah, uh, this is something that I hate about others, but I also hate about myself. And it's I hate lateness, and and I, I you hate tardiness. I hate tardiness. Yeah. Um, I'm. I, I realize there's obviously many, many, many reasons for people being late, but um, it just it. Especially in myself, I just feel like such a piece of shit when I'm when I'm like I was like one minute late to the podcast this morning. Generally. Oh, we were talking about it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, and, we, and that was my. We are anxiety. having a meeting after this podcast. Yeah, 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 we're yeah. having a big meeting about it. Um, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but when I came in, I was like, I immediately put my bag down and sat down. And I did you guys notice you were like, with your conversations. I was like, I okay, I'm going like, to prep right, myself a little it. bit more. <laughs> you were like, all right, let's do it. Because I was one minute late. Were you stressing on the drive over that you were going to be a little bit late? Yeah. Really? I, I most certainly knew that I'd left the house. I feel late. like I've I've kind of over the years become less and less, like given less and less of a shit. I used to stress about it a lot. Mm. But now I just, I really just see it as an unavoidable part of life with the variations of traffic. You can't. The, the traffic to me, noise. I just try to be places early. Yeah. Yeah. So, so right. that, that that's actually moves into the thing that actually irks me is when other people make me late. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, get, I get and really I'm like, annoyed. I'm, like, I'm ready to. I, I love you, Jen. I love you so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> when, when I'm standing at the door being like, this is the time I want to leave and I don't mean we're five minutes early. Yeah. And then it's like. Charles has a thing I just where. Wanna, I just want to go. I yeah. Said we're gonna go so so you, but you have a definitive, uh, you have a definitive time that you want to, if you, especially if it's work. Yeah. yeah. It's, work, it's work a lot of the time. Um, 
Chelsea's a thing. Chelsea, I love you so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chelsea's a thing. Oh my God, you're my wife. And shit, I'm, my wife I, and I'm I, Northern Austrian. You're married me and I love you so much. Spend the rest of my life with you. But you, she, she creates these hypothetical times she wants to leave yeah. and gets annoyed at me that we're not leaving this time that has no repercussion. There's no, there's no reason oh. we need to leave at this time. Mm. But she's just told herself that she needs to leave at this time because that's the time she wants to leave. But mm. this becomes scripture in her oh, own yeah. mind and she needs to leave. And I'm like, and she's like, a little bit frustrated that I'm like, you know, doing a couple of other things before we go yeah. because we're going to the beach or something. And mm, it's like, right. it doesn't matter if we're at the beach like two minutes later. Yeah. You know? I'm not too fussed Maybe about that stuff. Maybe if it's from a movie, it might be yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. If there's like a movie or a deadline or something, but when it's like, you know, just a, a arbitrary time. Yeah. That's, mm. But yeah, I love you so much. <laughs> uh, it, it's usually for things like uh, when other people are involved. I find it very inconsiderate. Like you're going out to dinner with some friends, or you're, yeah. or yeah, you are going to miss something like a movie, and it's like I, I just want to be there. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, on a slightly different note, when it comes to movies, one thing that's been a great thing about being an adult is when you haven't booked the tickets yet for a movie, but you've got this planned, and you start, and you're starting to run late, things are getting in the way, and and as an adult, I, I had this realization with Claire a few years ago where you're like. Oh God, we're stressing. We're not going to make it, or we're going to have to really rush. We're going to have to rush through our dinner, and then you just go, "Should we just not go?" Mm. And then you just you realize that it was all this self-imposed stress, and you just go, "Oh, let's just not go." Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, that's one of the most amazing things in, as an adult in life, yeah. is realizing that a lot of these things are just things that you have control over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, and like also, uh, at least with event cinemas, uh, hashtag not spawn, but spawn if you wanted to. Um, is that you can, uh, I can't remember how long before, uh, you can go onto the app and just change, either, really? either cancel, refund, oh. or change the time of a ticket. Event oh. cinemas? Yeah, so hashtag event cinemas I if you want to spawn us. I didn't even know, know that. I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. That. And th the, and I that was happening the other day that I was being me old little, like, oh, we need to leave Jen, and she yeah. goes, let's do, there's another one half an hour after. She yeah. Like, change. Oh, and I was like, That's great. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's amazing. <laughs> let's do. Let's do. Do, do you want to do some quick fire things that are cast and, and that we're not allowed to spur conversation? Quickly around the table, go around. Okay. Um, not to spur conversation. Birthday cards. How long do you have to keep them? That is a great question. I. Uh, I thought I, it wasn't allowed to spur yeah, conversation. Yeah, no, no, great no, question. We, we, we can have a <laughs> quick, quick fire quick, conversation. Quick fire. Uh, uh, I, I have a little just shoebox that I put them in, and, and then and, forget about them, and then forget about them again. Them. Yeah, at least Remy, yeah. Remy now takes them out and looks them. But like, um, that man. birthday card that you gave me is still on my mental piece and will be true. until I die. And I hope the one that I gave you last year is still Absolutely. as well. Bro, yeah. Absolutely, of course it is. <laughs> Where's Where it? Where it's where is like I framed it. It's, it's on well, it. Well, genuinely, oh, that hand-drawn, I still have that hand-drawn <laughs> Christmas uh, birthday card right Oh, that's cool. That's very cute. I feel like a hand-drawn one's kind of like But also, my birthday wasn't that long ago. It was well, a yeah. month and a half. You better hold on that for July. Um, I hate it when you're writing with a pen and the ink, and that your finger smudges the ink while you're writing, and it's like, come on, man, put high, higher quality ink in your pen. You're, pen. you're left-handed, eh, Ellie? I am. Oh, yeah, yeah, just yes. fucking left-handed problems be like yeah. Yeah. smudging oh, every time yeah. you're writing. Oh, yeah. You're writing writing in the... general. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of you're course. Left-handed is way rougher. Yeah. You so your right, right hand hand is, like is going over yeah. fucking... Right-handed is almost like you have this t this time to... You get to the end, and then you get to you, the line below it, and then you start going, and it's smudging the line above it. Oh, yeah, but you're just, as a left-handed, you're just fucking smudging smudge. as you go. Oh, my God. I'd never thought about <laughs> that. It's yeah, awful. Wow. Yeah, birthday cards the worst. Yeah. Birthday cards the worst, yeah. Whiteboards as well. You oh, can't, like, you're smudging oh, off yeah. on your right. Have, you have to write like that, so you, otherwise yeah. you just erase as you go. And you like, why are my notes not showing up? <laughs> yeah. God, I, oh, my God. I'm yeah. so sorry for you guys. Um, uh, my go. one is people that who talk over TV shows and movies. Yeah. I was about to make a joke. I thought you were going to say people who talk over another person, and I was about to deliberately talk over you just for the for the gang. <laughs> people who talk over uh, TV shows and movies. I feel yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Mm -hmm. um, clutter. Think, uh, things that are endowed with too much sentimentality that you have to hold up forever. That's kind of yeah. the same birthday card one, but just yeah, clutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, that. I, I get you. Uh, when you want to show someone a video that you, you're you really excited about and you think it'll make them laugh or they'll enjoy it, <laughs> and that's the one time... It doesn't load. Oh, oh it's yes. It's when it doesn't load, and then you're you're just l l stuck staring at the little circle on your and you're like, <laughs> I promise it's shot. <laughs> and the mood's and gone. the mood dies down, yeah. and then you have to end it with like, oh, I'll show you later. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you're, you're uh, on done. that on that same vibe, it's like uh, showing someone like I fucking look at this thing that's not working. It hasn't been working for months. Click. Yeah. Hmm. And it works. Yes. It works. Yes. And it works. And yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I swear oh, it wasn't working. It wasn't. You feel so gaslit by the inanimate object. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> 
And like most of the time they're like, oh, like you're like, oh, can you still take a look at it? And they're like, yeah. And then they don't find any problems with it. And you're like, oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wasting yeah. your time. Um, yeah. the, the box of shit that you have to carry from house to house. It's kind of the sentimental thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt that was so. Chas and I have moved like house like ten times, and yeah. we like there, there were boxes, um, like so, some boxes filled with stuff. I was like, I don't think we've we've opened this box in like three to four. Yeah. But you have to keep that, Ron. That's childhood memories. I recently had a box that I've been keeping at my parents' house since I was a kid of all these precious childhood things, and Mum finally was like, she'd been hinting for years, can you take this stuff? And I finally she sent it up, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, cool, thanks. Yeah. And then I was like, I've got to no. deal with this now. And I literally went through the no. pain thing and I, and no. I threw most no. of it out. I did. <gasps> no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I was Rowan. like, I, Rowan. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, I was like, Rowan, you're keeping <laughs> this I'm pra- going to practice what I preach. Yeah. And, and I'm like, I was like, I'm just, yeah, this old. Rowan's like, I have a code. I have a code. <laughs> I have a code. <laughs> these transformers. Yeah. I'm never gonna. I'm. I'm. And they, oh, wrong, what? What would I do with these? I'd put them on on a shelf. Yeah. No, no. You just keep which, them in which, the box. Which so I never d- look at them again. another rule that I've got about clutter. And I was like, so I'll sit on a shelf, yeah. taking up space, in the bin. And then I was got like like my old but my Ron, sticker collection. No, I mean, and my marbles. And my marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, if you opened it and you, you picked up the transform and you picked up the marbles and you're like, I feel no joy or nostalgia from this. I did, but it was only for those few moments of like, like yeah. Yeah, right. I was going to sit yeah. there taking up space. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I, that, that's pushing it too far. Um, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. throw in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel lighter. I'm glad I did. Oh, good. You were going to be cut, little cut to dinosaur you. dinosaur jigsaw puzzle book that I used to fucking love. It's in the rubbish dump somewhere Cut now. Cut to you three oh, months later after realizing you made a horrible mistake and they're in the rubbish just r- <laughs> the t- crying, the crying, like ripping through other people's trash. Yeah. Where are you? Dinosaur <laughs> puzzle, Dinosaur where are puzzle. you? Last one from me, uh, which just happened today. I cycled, biked into work today. Um, I bought a fresh change of clothes. Um, I arrived here. I had a shower. I got my fresh clothes out. I, I didn't have, um, I forgot to pack fresh undies. Oh. So I had to put on my sweaty undies. Mm. Uh, which is the one, like, the one weak link. Because yeah. now, like, i got the sweaty undies on. I, 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 I bought my fresh was. clothes. I yeah. Like, and I was, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I got my God. fresh clothes on the top of the sweaty undies underneath. Uh, I'm just, I, and, and you should have turned them inside out. I should have turned them inside out. I guess out. Sweat, sweaty I mean, is always sweaty. Yeah. yeah. So now, now I'm here sitting here not feeling uh, the best. Um, so that's, that's me. Um, my last one is probably it probably needs a whole lot of explanation actually, but it's tipping in New Zealand. Mm. Is, oh, uh, yeah. For all oh, of yeah. uh, most of our listeners won't understand this, but uh, mm. we don't tip hospitality workers in New Zealand, uh, and it's starting to become a thing. Yes, yeah, and that slowly irks me. That irks me as well. The part that in America it's just it is the culture; it's built into the whole system, and so and also it's, no. There's no awkwardness around it because it's just that is the way it is, and it's how hospitality workers get paid yes. in America. Whereas in, a, in New Zealand, they get paid a fair rate that it, it's not built into what is a living wage. But almost every time you go to pay with a uh, credit card or FPOS, on the screen it has that awkward moment where it goes, "We've, we've done a skit about this actually," yeah. Yeah. Uh, where it's like, um, "Would you like to give a tip?" And you have to in front of the person go, "No, no yeah, I'm a cunt." The, yeah, like, <laughs> the, the, the thing that irks me. <laughs> I'm a cunt. I'm go- I'm not gonna tip you. B- because in America you get to privately do <laughs> Especially that at you the table. Shake your head while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> but the the thing that irks me the most is that it, at the moment, at least, as it's kind of becoming a thing in New Zealand, it's mainly at kind of like higher end restaurants and yeah. cafes and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. I know that you're paying your staff really, really well, yeah. and or you're already earning lots of money because I fucking saw the prices on that menu. Yeah, I would rather tip at a little mom and pop cafe or restaurant yeah. than I would yeah. at some bloody high end. I'm thing. guilty of it because Chelsea and I, we don't go out too much with because kids. So when we go out and we've had like it's really good vibes and really good dinner and stuff. I will tip, but it's actually for me to in not cash drag. On the F-post. Oh no, it's on the FPOS machine. I don't tip a huge amount. I just tip a little bit, and it's it's tipping to preserve the good vibes rather than tipping to. It's just a, like it's mm. ten bucks, so Chelsea and I don't have an awkward encounter at the till, and that that's yeah. I'm actually paying to cover that. Yeah, like but genuinely, I if I that. if I went out to dinner a lot more, I I, I wouldn't see do Jen, it. Jen and I that's are foodies, different. and we go out to dinner a lot. Yeah, for me it always feels like I had a I had a, a lovely experience. Um, and it feels like they just they just kind of do a little shit on you. Yeah, yeah. it's like his little dump, here's, here's and I'm just gonna wipe it on your face. Instead of getting a little mint, you. they yep. put a little poo in your mouth. A little poo in your mouth. Here's a little poo in your mouth. And you yeah. go, oh, I yep. guess I have to say, <laughs> yep. I'm either gonna have to give a tip I don't want to give because why should I? Yeah. Uh, or I have to 
be like, I can't. Yeah. And now all the all the Americans listening. All the Americans listening. Ellie, every time you say it, she's she's making she's making a little note. Yeah, literally. All the Americans listening are gonna think we're super fucking ungrateful because we don't tip. Yep. Speaking of um restaurants, I put a question up on our We Were Told podcast Instagram just to see what irks our listeners. Yeah. And I got one here about hospitality from Alex. When it's someone's turn to order, but they keep talking like the waiter isn't there. So you're sitting there going, oh, are you gonna, are you gonna, yeah. like, I feel like we can make a video about this. Yeah. In restaurant logic, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys get that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I completely I, understand well, that. I find yeah. that really rude when my friends do it. Yes. Well, the yeah. thing that I can always relate to, and I always feel bad about it, is when you're just catching up with someone and then you go, blah, 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 blah. oh, sorry. And the waiter comes over and you go, can you just give us two more minutes? And then you mean to go and look at the menu and you get straight back into oh Yeah, God, you you're really good at going, let's commit to do yes. like, yeah. That's why yeah. I, I often kind things. of rudely go, hey guys, let's just quickly just stop the catch up and just look at the menu. <laughs> yeah, look yeah, at the menu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, and and give it that. So, that. so it's not this thing that's just like looming or waiting yeah. or like consistently. That's but done out of the way. It's out of the way now. And yeah. now yeah. we can yeah. have yeah. the big old chats. Or people that just treat the server like a piece of shit. Like don't say don't say thanks or don't like, I don't know. Like I really... I, I go out of my way to just really, you know, this person is working often like mm-hmm. a, a just minimum wage job. Just the, their job is yeah. to give you the best experience or like service possible. Just be nice to the person. Yeah, straight up. Just be a decent Don't human. they say something like you can tell someone's um, true nature by how they treat people beneath yeah, them, yeah. below or not beneath them, below them? Because what I do is if I want the waiter to come over to me, I just go, yeah, click your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Click your fingers and then Until just. Until they look at and, you. Yeah. you. And you just scream, you. Yeah. Oi. Oi. You. Oi. 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 Yeah, yeah. Years, whistle, the whistle, the whistle's always good. That's a joke. Yeah, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> um, uh, is that, is that, I think that's it. We're beyond time. Of, that's it's a lot of time. It's we're beyond time. There's going to time. Uh, uh, gonna have to be a part two. Do, do you want to yeah. rap about the things that Urkus run? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's rap go. Rap out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 We were told we should talk about things that irk us. Yeah. Things that make us go, oh, I'm annoyed. Yeah. Things like when I go to the toilet and yeah. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. Poos. Poos and wheeze. Poos and wheeze. Poos and wheeze. Your, your pee splits in half. I said, how many times does your pee split in half? All the time. All, all the, the time. time when my pee splits in half. Sugar, you have to sit. <laughs> when you had sex at night before. Not that, but because I, I, I'm a virgin, but in yeah. reality, because I don't have any kids to prove. Yeah, I've, got, I've had sex two times. You can, you <laughs> can prove I have, it. I have two kids. Yeah, two times. I'm still waiting. <laughs> That's great. It's worth the wait. Yeah. It's worth the wait. Yeah, you're pure. <laughs> you're pure. pure. I'm you're pure. pure. I'm a virgin. You're very good. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you know what, guys? Uh, talking about uh, irking being late. Uh, we've got a meeting, so I'm gonna go to the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, were you watching slash listening to this podcast and you're like, oh, I, I, I want to listen to them. I just don't want to see their faces. Well, you can. Then we got an audio only version of this podcast, which I think is how pod- podcast kind of kind of started. But anyway, uh, they are available on uh, podcast streaming platforms around us. And be sure to follow us on uh, the social links below. <laughs>